I'm now going to give you an example of a supply and use report, and it's the WASD report. Here I did a put type in WASD in a Google search. You see the WASD report. I'm now going to go to that website, and you see WASD report, USDA. This is actually, again, a publication of the Office of Chief Economist. And if you scroll down a bit, you'll see some usually some new news that may be particularly of importance. Right now, that is the EKEU trade agreement. But then down here, you get this month's and last month's WASD report. So we're going to click here on the January 2021 WASD report, and you will see this report. And as you go through it, it makes reports for major economy, major commodities grown in the United States and around the world. Coarse grains, rice, keep going down, oil seeds, which includes soybeans, sugar, livestock, poultry, and dairy. I'm now going to show two of those specific reports, one for corn and one for soybeans. Here is the report for corn, and I am going, which is part of feed grains, and I'm just going to go down the report. Again, this is in the USDA WASD report. We're going to go down the lines. I'm going to start here with acres planted, acres harvest, 90.8 million acres uh, planted, 82.5 acres harvested. This is for the 2021 projection in January. The WASD report always shows the previous month, which would be December for in this case, and then the previous marketing year and the one before that. So you get three marketing years and the revision for the current year. This is the January report. Again, we are halfway through the marketing year, which the 2020 report would begin in September 1. And so we're halfway through it. So not everything has been decided as of yet. 82.5 acres, acres harvested is the current estimate. As you can see, that hasn't changed from the December report. Our estimate of yield per acre is 172 bushels per acre. Those bushel per acre and, uh, and acres harvested, as well as acres planted, will begin to change ex actually earlier in the marketing year and before the marketing year because those numbers are fairly well known by now. You'll also see an estimate of beginning stocks, which in this case is 1,919 1 million bushels. Again, given the marketing year, this would be what was on in, in storage on September 1. Production, 14,182 bushels, which you can find by multiplying the acres harvested times the yield per acre. Obviously, that number will be impacted by harvested acres and yield per acre. Imports, 25 million eight, bu billion bushels for corn. Not a very large amount for corn. That would be primarily coming from either Canada or Mexico. Again, cross-border trade. Total supply then, in this case, equals beginning stocks plus production plus imports. In this case and in all cases. Feed use, or excuse me, total use for corn is divided into two parts, two major parts. First is feed and residual. Feed would be what would be fed to livestock, and residual is what is left over. Um, in this case, the USDA actually does not estimate feed and residual use. They come up with all the other numbers and then imply feed and residual. The other major category of use is food, seed, industrial, 6,375 6, million bushels, with most of that in this ethanol and byproducts category, 4,950,000 um, bushels. This happens to be the big New use in corn that happened since 1995 and mandates put in, but into the um, 
the the uh, the energy use bill of that year. You can see that four point nine five four thousand nine hundred fifty million uh, bushel estimate is down from last month, up from last year, but well down from the twenty eighteen to twenty nineteen number. That number is down because of COVID and less driving. Ethanol is primarily used in driving. Total domestic use then is twelve million twenty five. 12, 12,025 million bushels. That's domestic use, use in the United States. We also have exports to 2,550 million bushels. And again, that's down a bit from last month, but our total use then is 14, uh, 14 million, 14,575 million bushels. And then finally, our ending stacks of 1,552 million bushels. So there is a report for corn. And just some notes here. And finally, they come up with average farm price, 420, which is up considerably from the year before and the year before that. All right, just some notes on corn. Domestic use is, has been much larger than exports. It's going to differ than what we see for, 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 for soybeans. The new use is, was ethanol. That came on board again in the mid-1990s. And just so we know, U.S. is the largest country in producing of corn. Now let's look at soybeans. Again, we're looking at the January WASDE report. 82.3 million acres harvested. Our bushels per acre last year, or 2020, which was harvested and most of it harvested in fall of 2020, 50.2 50, 50 bushels per acre. Beginning stocks, 525,000, uh, or excuse me, 525 million bushels. Our production, production again, acres harvested times yield per, per harvested acre, 4,135 million bushels. Imports, again, we have some not very significant again coming from this one primarily from from uh, from Canada total supply 4695 bush million bushels all right now let's look at uses of soybeans and the major use is crushing crushing is a process where you take a soybean and you get two products a soybean oil meal and soybean oil. Again, take soybeans, it goes through a crush, you get meal and oil. Meal is primarily used as a livestock feed. Oil is what goes into vegetable oil as well as margarine and several other uses. All right, 2,200 bushel, million bushels of use in crushing. That would be domestic. And here's the Comparison exports is 2,230 million bushels. You'll note here, exports is as large as crushing. So exports is as large as domestic use. Our last dom two domestic uses for soybeans is 103 million bushels for seed, saving seed and 22 residual that doesn't get in count in any other categories. Again, if you look at total uses, exports is half of it. So if, and, and those exports are primarily going to China. China is our big ex export user for soybeans. Again, if you look at over time, and we'll show this, the bigger, bigger increase in soybean exports has been to China. Again, our ending stock's 140 um, million bushels. And just to summarize here, crush is the process that produces soybean meal and soybean oil. Exports in, in soybeans are very important. And this doesn't show it, but the two largest soybean producers in the world, and they run neck and neck currently, are Brazil and the US. So this shows a, supply and use, WASDE, that's reported every month and gets a lot of press. Again, WASDE, supply and use accounting.